stuff that we would do in a real a longer uh, clinic, okay? Um, a couple things I saw. You're not maintaining that position here, okay? And, and high school coaches, this is a good drill. Uh, pushing and pulling, push, pull drill. I push over that far shoulder, and then I pull over that, uh, over the, um, the same direction, set uh, backwards. And then he, again, forward, pull. Okay, I have to break. Okay, a couple things. Now, you know, if I pull, and, and it's like a tug of war match, and I'm trying to pull him back and he's going forward, I'm not gonna try to pull him down to, the, to, to his hip. All right, I'm gonna get myself extended. So if I jam him and he stays forward and I'm trying to pull and he's staying forward, go ahead. I'm gonna throw that half on and go spiral, break down. If I pull and he brings his knees wide, what do you think I'm gonna do? What handle am I gonna get? Claw. All right, so I jam him this time, and he doesn't really push back an enemy, he just settles his hips and sits on his ankles. Take his neck, make him sniff his armpit, and you know what? Do not try to break him down here. You're gonna spend a lot of energy and waste a lot of precious energy um, trying to break him down. Right here, what I'll do is I'll clamp and get things nice and tight and wait for him to do something. Go ahead, and do something. When he goes forward, then it's when I move. But again, if this guy does not want to get broken down, don't spend the energy doing so. A lot of times you come off that mat, you ever have your forearms, just like your muscles feel like they're going to bulge out of your skin and it's the worst feeling, right? Okay, that's because you're gripping too much and you're, 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 you're t too tense. I'm using short, calculated movements. I'm dissecting them. So if I'm here, I'm going to go claw and just wait. You know what I'm saying? And I'm sure a lot of you guys don't mind hearing that either, right? Marinating right here. Uh, I'll throw a leg around, bring him right back, put him on his back. That may be what I go for, but I'm not going to try to break him down. That move right there, I just took him away from a post. That's it, right? Okay. But let's say I do get my break down here, okay? And there's, guys, this is, I, I consider this watching TV position. This, this is what we're going to cover. Uh, most of our turns, or most of our breakdowns and all, right into this position. All right, if, I, if he stands up, go ahead and stand up. I lift in the amount of where we are. Stand up, stand up, face me. If I break him down, or take him down, look where he is. Okay, so you're going to find that guy in a match is going to be there all the time. And the golden rule, if you get a guy on these forearms, what do you better get? His wrist. Who said it? Good job. you got to get that wrist. And I'm talking even when you go to break him down. Come on up. Or even when you go to take him down, I'm reaching up trying to get that wrist. I'm, he stands up. I'm mat returning him. I'm looking for that wrist as he's falling. First thing we're going to do is tight waist, all right? Because this is a great, great move to hit in this position. And I get right here and I dip my shoulder. A lot of guys throw on a tight waist and they go here, hip down. See that? If I dip my shoulder, hip down. Come on, hip down. I'm not doing anything. It's tight now. And it's just the difference of this and this. Look into the ceiling, touching the spine. Your fingers should be touching the spine. This is a seatbelt. This is touching the spine. Okay, so I'm here. Far, far hands to the top. Far knees gonna shoot under. How many guys can tell and you know this is pretty good? Pretty well. Okay, that's that's good. Block and go. Take them to here, make a T with our bodies. So that means I bring my torso back, my hips in and elevate far shoulder. The knee comes up down here. If I don't bring this knee up and shove them into my lap, turn down, and have a heck of a time. We're gonna bring that knee up and elevate. <laughs> All right, one more time, then we're, then we're going. We don't have a lot of time. All right? 
So, if you want to drill those, you know, jam and go half and all that good stuff, that's good. Notice when I go half here, you know, his weight's forward. When I go half, I just go hip to hip. All right? I don't, I don't do this. A lot of people squat right down like this. We'll look at where my hips are. I lead with that inside leg, and then when I get about right here, I straighten my arm and turn my wrist over. Throwing that out there, I hope your sponge is on that. Alright. Jam. He pushes back. He's really pushing back and into me. Pull. High waist. Catch. Elevate. Get my point. Got it? Alright. Key on this move. What's the key? The key is to get the wrist. If you can't get the wrist, we're going to chop. What was it again? High waist. Dip that shoulder. Okay? I want you to look to the ceiling and get as tight as you can. If you don't touch the spine, that's your checkpoint. Stop the move and do it again. Go. Okay. 